guys, this is Melanie of Mel Doodles, and this is second to last of my Zodiac series. This is Scorpio. Um, I was scared how this piece was going to come out because I felt like I wasn't so invested in what the end result was going to be. I, I just didn't think about it that deep. Like, there were certain signs that I thought about a lot more, even bef like even if I wasn't that close to getting them done. Uh, or getting, like, uh, maybe I was on, I don't know, maybe I was, like, on Aquarius, but I was thinking about Leo and how that was going to look. Scorpio wasn't one of them. I, and, I, and it's a weird thing to say because I think every artist would probably say that each character that they do is, they're f like, they put a lot of thought into it. Whereas these characters kind of came to me as I did them. Like, I did have um, a process and I did have thoughts that went behind it and I also had a lot of reference that went behind them but since they were my own um the way that I developed them was more a kind of whenever I was in the moment of creating them I didn't think too far ahead for the exception of a couple um that I was just kind of looking forward to getting to the most of them I just kind of waited until I got to them and then I defined them um, or usually I would start to define them the like if I was assigned before that one I would figure it out So but I definitely did put thought into it. So I didn't just start drawing and saying that looks nice I think I'm just gonna make that a Scorpio or I'm gonna make that Leo. That's great um, so <laughs> Let me see what else? So this one was actually a lot of fun. I had a few sketches for it and this one was the one that stuck I felt it was strong, and I uh, I think that I went through it a lot quicker than a lot of the a lot of, the, a lot of other pieces that I've done. And uh, I loved the scorpion in the background. I I was really worried that the scorpion would look too severe and too serious, and that it would make the scorpion the Scorpio characteristics seem like they were really harsh, dark people. And how, because, you know, a scorpion, you know, what is its defense mechanism or its, uh, its way of attack is by poisoning its, its foe. And so I got really concerned that if I didn't portray it a certain way, it would be taken in a negative context. So that was something that I had to take into consideration when I was working on this. But um, at the end, I really liked the character, the characteristics on the face. It just seems like it's this other species, this other animal, and that it's just it's just complimenting the character uh and yeah i hope you will enjoy the rest of this i will oh let me plug a couple of things while i'm at it big apple con is happening in march uh we'll put the links down below so you can get tickets and check out um more happenings with that and i will have these prints available during that show and you guys can come they're going to be 11 by 17. i'll hopefully hopefully crossing my fingers have some postcards and stickers available for them as well and I also am going to be starting to sell them on Etsy so if you guys want to get them you know they'll be available on Etsy so enjoy the rest of this video <laughs>
guys we're coming to the end of this video and so I hope you really liked it if you did give it a thumbs up uh, feel free to leave a comment down below or subscribe subscriptions are always always welcomed they actually really encourage me to make more videos and after this series is done I'm gonna be hoping to make some new fresh stuff I hope crossing fingers and toes that I can uh, come up with some new work but yeah thank you for supporting and watching and um, check out my Etsy page if you want to check out any of my prints that are available. They usually range from $10 to $10 for an 11 by 17 print. And I will be having a discount for this series when it goes up. So, you know, you should check it out. That's it, guys.